Hello everyone and welcome to our review of the September 2021 numbers for the Polestar trips that have been submitted at polestardriver.com. Thank you for all of your submissions. It's much appreciated and it's helping us to have a good amount of data to work out the efficiency on the Polestar 2. The big question is this month is did we reach the peak of range back in August or is September going to be higher? Without further delay, let's get into the numbers. So here you can see uh, in September we had 141 entries, a similar number to August and the second highest uh, number submitted since we started collecting this data earlier in the year. This slide here shows us uh, the trips on the top and on uh, the bottom graph shows you how many miles and kilometers have been submitted. So you can see there September uh, 17,000 kilometers submitted, 11,000 miles. And this is the highest uh, distance covered in any one month so far. Here we can see the top contributors in September. So coming out with the most number of trips in September is Polestar Warrior with 44. Then we have the most distance traveled, which is by myself, Polestar Driver, 1,720 miles. And the most efficient driver is once again Ottima with 3.68 miles per kilo kilowatt hour or 5.93 kilometers per kilowatt hour looking at the numbers all the numbers we have in the system so you can see at the top there we have 88 individual contrib contributors and 953 entries submitted to the end of september and we've passed the 100,000 kilometers mark with 104,424 and we are nearly at 65,000 miles. So looking at overall, uh, the most trip submitted is again by Polestar Warrior at 202. Uh, the most distance traveled is by myself, Polestar Driver, with 8,950 miles. And then most efficient overall, again, is Ottima at 3.55 miles per kilowatt hour, or 5.73 kilometers per kilowatt hour so let's look at the consumption so in august uh, we were at 29.2 uh, kilowatt hours per 100 miles and that was slightly up from july which was at 28.9 and then september is 29.7 again up slightly on the previous month uh, the equivalent in uh, kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is 18.4 for September. So it looks like July was the most efficient month for us uh, so far and uh, since then it's been going up. So how does that look in terms of miles per kilowatt hour or kilometers per kilowatt hour? Here we have kilometers on the top line so September is 5.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour and 3.41 miles per kilowatt hour and what does that translate to in terms of range so as we can see here in september uh, the range the average range was 413 kilometers and the range in miles is 256 miles how does this compare to wltp and epa range you can see here on the top right with um, the gap to WLTP at 16.5 overall. So this is not just uh, September, this is all the data in the system. And compared to EPA range, uh, we're actually getting better range than the EPA estimate of 233 miles or 375 kilometers. So as the months uh, lead into winter, just a reminder, of the crossover point when preheating uh, gives you a benefit 
and it looks like the temperature at which preheating will benefit you is 8 or 9 degrees Celsius or 46 to 48 Fahrenheit so as the as the days get colder remember to preheat before your journey don't forget at the end of the report you can see the real world range by country so if you just browse down to the end you'll see them in alphabetical order and you'll be able to compare your range compared to other people who have submitted from your country that's the quick roundup of the numbers for September don't forget the report on the website at polestardriver.com contains many many pages of data including temperatures, driving styles, wheel sizes, aircon on or off etc. So go to the website, click on reports and you can download a copy of the PDF or view it on, on the website and compare your numbers to these other entries. I haven't as yet seen any entries from uh, people who are getting the single motor version of the car. If you have a single motor version, please submit the data and let me know in the comments below. If you've already submitted data for single motor, also let me know in the comments and I will review uh, the flow of the data that we haven't missed anything and it's not uh, it's not showing any single motor data yet. As always, thanks for joining me and thanks for your support with submitting all of this data. It's a really useful exercise and it's fun to see how the numbers compare when I'm driving around compared to all of your numbers. Please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and if you're not yet a subscriber of the channel, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified whenever a new video is released. Thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.